All right, Steen Leggy from Dog Post. Uh, welcome to our live uh, discussion and talking about the dogs and their 2024 20, Southeastern Conference um, opponents. We're going to see how this goes tonight. Um, you know, I, we fully expect Alabama, Georgia to visit Alabama, Georgia to visit uh, Texas. Um, so those two things are, uh, have been reported already. And I'm just trying to get situated here. The league has, of course, done a, a very good job through the years of structuring things to where they're going to get big TV games. That's what you're seeing tonight. There's going to be Georgia, you know, going to going to Texas, Georgia going to Alabama. Those those are TV games. And of course, the the fact that the the divisions are gone, you know, that's that's an important thing too. Needless to say, so I'm not where I usually am. Um, I am uh, away from home, so I'm doing the best I can right now to to get this to y'all. So keep, let's keep that in mind. I'm watching this as we go, um, and I appreciate everybody jumping on. I'm not if I'm not looking at the camera, that's okay too. Make sure um, we we're gonna send this out on our newsletter immediately when we get it completely um, completely ready to go. Um, I don't know when that will be. I don't know how the SEC is doing this, by the way. I don't know if they're just going straight to it or not or what. They're giving us the formula about how this was determined. Um, no school will – so it's saying each of the SEC's existing 14 schools will play either Texas or OU. No school will travel to the same location to which it traveled in 2023. So that means you're not going to do uh, Ole Miss. Or Ole Miss would not be playing Georgia in Athens, so stuff like that. I don't expect Georgia to play um, either of the Mississippi schools. And then 2024 SEC opponents were determined on two primary factors, traditional opponents and balance of overall strength of schedule. So we've talked about Georgia-Florida. We've talked about Georgia-Auburn. Those games are happening, okay? Um, the, the question are or becomes now, who are the other games that uh, you know, Georgia's going to play? We don't have divisions. We don't know, you know, the Missouri game, uh, stuff like that. That 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 stuff's gonna be gone. Thank God, we don't need it. And by the way, I am outside, so I don't have microphones, and it is thundering where I am. And we're in the middle of a, um, <laughs> we are in the middle of a, uh, we are in the middle of a uh, thunderstorm. So, stick with me here. Um, nonetheless, this is this. This is why I started a little after seven and not at seven because the SEC is doing the whole run around here i think they're going to start with Alabama. they're not going to start with alabama um but we here's what we do know okay we know that georgia's going to play clemson to open the season and then they're going to play massachusetts texas uh, tennessee tech georgia tech and florida so the florida game we know when that is all right that's a contractual game it's happening um the sec is is pointing out that alabama and tennessee will play one another so games like that aren't going away. Now, I don't know what that means for Alabama and LSU, but again, let me let me just say this real quick out loud. This is a one-off schedule. Th this schedule doesn't matter in any way in terms of going towards the future. It doesn't – there's just nothing. It's completely not – I mean, you can't take this seriously. That's why we're going to see Georgia, Alabama. That's probably why we're going to see Georgia, Texas, and Georgia traveling to both of them. What I'm curious about of the games that we don't know – we don't know the three home SEC games that Georgia's going to get. That's going to be very curious to me. Secondly, who are the other two road SEC games? We don't know. We don't know that right now. Um, you know, they're talking about LSU, Arkansas. Um, you know, th this is a television show. This is a television production. This is a television league. Obviously, they're t they're telling us that Oklahoma and Texas are playing one another. Oh boy. Well, actually going to tell us OU's 2024. So Oklahoma will play Alabama at home, Carolina at home, Texas at home, Tennessee at home. They will go to Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, and Missouri. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen worse. You've got to play LSU, Alabama. Um, but welcome to the league, right? I mean, they've always played Texas. That's not new. Um, we know that Georgia now is not playing Oklahoma. That was not a shocker. I expected them to play um, Texas, Georgia. But um, so far, nothing 
nothing we don't know, right? I mean, what I'd like to know is, so we know Alabama's going to host at this stage. It's been reported they're going to play Georgia at home. Um, and then uh, you start talking about them, you know, playing Oklahoma at home. So now here's Texas. This will confirm Georgia, Texas here in a second. Uh, obviously, we know Texas is playing away at Oklahoma, which is in Dallas. So that's not a real thing. So just waiting for Texas, Georgia. So they're going to play at Texas A&M. That's not surprising. I, th I, I am going to be curious to see, too, here, if Georgia is going to play at Texas A&M. I'm not so sure that they will. Texas will host Georgia, the Gators, Kentucky, and Mississippi State. They will go to Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Vanderbilt. That is a manageable schedule for Texas as they come into the league. I mean, I see a few losses um, unless Texas gets a lot better. They definitely can lose to Kentucky. Um, they, you know, we're 18 months from these games happening. So, you know, I, the Arkansas game, I, you know, you're playing on the road against Arkansas. You're playing on the road against Texas A&M. Um, I don't. You know, I don't – welcome to the league. I, I don't want to hear any complaining from those two schools. I'm having a real hard time holding this this camera up right here, but it's all right. And, I, again, I apologize about the um, – I apologize about the situation. I'm not at home, as you can see. So uh, we're just doing our best. Now, um, we've revealed Texas and Oklahoma. Congratulations on coming into the league. That's great. Uh, now I'd like to see what the rest of the league is going to be doing. As you can see, I did not plan for this situation over here. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to play everybody in the first two years. So this is just sort of normal now. It's what it is. And uh, we're just going to see how, you know, I, I don't know. I think this is the new normal is you're going to have tough games in the league. It's just how it goes. It's not – confusing it's you know I, I do want to see you know why who does Georgia get at home who does Georgia get at home because if you're bringing Texas and Oklahoma into the league and you can't come up with a you know quality SEC game to start the season or to to play during the season that's a real problem and that's that's an indictment of the league if that's what happens here but we're going to see how this goes you know, again, just for everybody who's on on with me here on YouTube and TikTok, here's the deal. We know Georgia's opening the season with Clemson. That we know. They're going to play UMass and Texas, uh, excuse me, and, and Tennessee Tech. That's what we expect to happen. We know Georgia's going to play Georgia Tech to end the season, and we know that they've got a contract to play the Gators in Jacksonville. That game is happening in 2024. You also have, we already know now, Georgia will play Texas on the road. We expect Georgia to play Texas at Alabama so hang with me we're just kind of get through this together we got to talk to every single person before we do the rest of these things y'all think I'm bad with the promos and all that stuff I mean this is ridiculous we're 10 minutes into it and we don't you know all we really know is a smattering of things I would say congratulations to Texas and Oklahoma for coming into the league now get out of the way and let us see the other 14 teams that's what that's what I'm saying and, I, and listen, and we'll just real quick on Texas and OU. If you've not read it on Dog Post, we had a what we were hearing not that long ago about OU and Texas and someone I was talking to um, in college football who said they're just not ready for what they're about to see. You know, we'll see. I don't know. Um, I think that Texas probably is more prepared in their current situation. I, I think Brent Venables has got a lot to prove. That first season was rough. Um I don't know if that's going to get better. My suspicion is that it might not. But and I think there's I think there's I, I can say this. I think there's concern at OU right now that it's that it's not going to get better. So, I don't know. Here's a question I'll try to answer these um, cuz they're just goofing around here on SEC Network. Uh, do you consider Georgia's 2024 schedule hard? If if you know, if you're go, if you're opening with Cle uh, Clemson, you're playing the Gators, you're going to play Texas and Oklahoma. I mean, that's a challenging schedule. Just those games, and we we're pretty certain that Georgia's going to play. You know, uh, Auburn as well. What's going to happen with Georgia, Tennessee? What's going to happen with Georgia, South Carolina? What's going to happen with games that we've gotten used to seeing 
over time that um, I don't know if we'll see them now. I mean, I don't, I don't think Texas, uh, I don't think Georgia and Tennessee are going to keep playing. I just don't. There's a link below if you're on YouTube. You need to sign up for our uh, our newsletter. It's easy. It's free. Check it out now. Uh, it's it's something we we you know we push it out every single day, and um, we're just gonna you know really appreciate those folks who who sign on and do it. But yeah, this is a good question from Gavin. Are they only gonna release Oklahoma and Texas? I'm not trying to do this all night, fellas. So if we could just get to the rest of the league, the people who are actually members right now, that would be outstanding. I know that the SEC network is a very important part of the of the puzzle here, okay? It's a very important part of um, the league um, and the distribution of money. The you know the Southeastern Conference network is really really important i can i guarantee you they're hitting a commercial here in a second so i'm just going to talk about the dogs um as they go but you know I, i'd be pretty shocked if georgia doesn't play auburn at home i mean that would be shocking to me at this point i think the question is what happens with georgia uh, texas a&m if anything they don't owe georgia doesn't owe anything to texas a&m neither does the sec Georgia, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee. What's going to happen with those types of games? The games that, for a long time, um, you know, you 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 built your season around those games. Now, we don't know. And again, I've said this to the audience before a minute ago. We don't know what to make of this schedule. Okay, like this is a one-off. The SEC is going to go to. Um, the SEC is going to go to a nine-game schedule. They just are. It's happening, and um, it's a matter of time. The question is, how long will it take to get there? The other question is, how long is it going to take for them to receive? You know how these other schedules. Good God. We really shouldn't go. I have to say this. I think the SEC network does a great job. We really should not go a quarter of an hour into things. All right, they're going to give us Alabama, and I, they damn sure better give us Georgia right after this. But I know they're going in alphabetical order, so we're going to get Auburn next. But this will at least confirm that Georgia is going to go to Alabama, which has been the reporting out of Tuscaloosa today. And I think that um, that would be, you know, confirming that would be good. So they're going to host Auburn and Georgia. That's a great slate for uh, Alabama at home. They're going to have to go to Tennessee and Alabama, uh, Tennessee and LSU. They got to go to Oklahoma, who is not great right now. So their season is going to come down to can they beat Georgia at home and can they can they beat LSU away? Because what the league is doing, and you can see this, is they're saying to Georgia and Bama and LSU and people they think they're going to be good, you're playing each other. We don't have divisions. You're playing each other. That's what's happening. I get it. I mean, I think that, you know, Oklahoma right now has got a long way to go. Um, to get to where – no, they are, they're going faster now. Thank God. That was a – waste of time Arkansas I don't anticipate Georgia playing them and they do not uh, Arkansas is going to go with LSU Ole Miss Tennessee Texas at home they will travel to state A&M Missouri and Auburn I swear what ma a major win here for somebody on this telecast would be Georgia not playing at Missouri in 2022 that'd be a major win like I don't think I can pull off a cartwheel in here but I would attempt one possibly we're just gonna have to see Auburn's next. This should confirm Georgia, Auburn, and Athens. We're going to see. I'm going to punch that in right here if I can. And that, you know, I, I don't blame them. I mean, like, they took way too long on Texas and Oklahoma. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Way too long. Auburn, we know some of their schedule already. They should play on the road at Georgia. I think Georgia people, they do. They play Georgia on the road. Uh, this is a this is not the end of the world schedule. I mean, the problem for Auburn is they got to go on the road to Georgia and Alabama. They will also play at Kentucky, a game they can lose, and uh, at Missouri, a game they will not lose, I don't think. Uh, they host Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Vanderbilt. So, you know, when you're well, – listen, y'all. When you're playing Vandy, Kentucky, and Missouri, and you were playing in the SEC West forever – you take that. <laughs> you take that. I mean, 
but you're the the challenge for you know the challenge for Auburn is what it's always been, which is can you get around Georgia and, and Alabama? And the answer traditionally is no. That's the problem. If you're watching, we really appreciate it. We know a slew of Georgia's schedules. What we don't know, we're waiting on four more games. There are four games left that we really need to know. And we, they're two are away and two are at home. And uh, we're we're gonna see here. Now we the easy ones are in. We we knew Auburn. Uh, we knew uh, Georgia would play Auburn. We knew they'd play the Gators. Those are that's a contractual game with Florida. And it had been reported today about Alabama and Texas. What we don't know is now. We are almost 20 minutes into this thing, and we finally are at the point where we don't know what's happening next. And they're going in alphabetical order, so we'll see Georgia soon. And I'll, from that point on, talk about the dogs. I'm going to lose my S if they, if they go to a commercial here. Uh, they might. But they owe it to people in this league some of us have been covering this league for 23 years. I'd really appreciate it if they did not go to a commercial. I'm trying to eat dinner tonight. Um, my guess is that Georgia will uh, will go to South Carolina because um, South Carolina will go crazy if they don't play that game. And my guess is uh, they will – go to Vanderbilt or go to Kentucky. I do not see them giving Georgia, Alabama, Texas, and Tennessee on the road. We're going to see. At home, I think you're looking at, at this stage, very possibly Oklahoma uh, or LSU. Um, I think if you're Georgia, just to be honest right now in 2024, if you can avoid LSU in a regular season, I think that'd probably be ideal because, you know, then you'd be playing a lot of big names all in the same season. Florida, Bama, uh, Texas, and the Gators. And y'all can say what you want to about Florida, um, but Florida Florida is never to be taken lightly. Um, we'll just see. I, I do not anticipate – we know it's not going to be Arkansas. I do not anticipate Georgia playing either of the Mississippi schools. So we're just going to see – I don't know everything, okay? Please sign up for the newsletter, which is down below. Yeah, hey, listen, and thank you for pointing this out. I have not promoted our book yet. If you don't like it, don't watch. Uh, and I'm not talking to this crowd over here. Y'all have been great. Uh, Double Dogs is out. You can pick up uh, our 2023 preview, of which runs out usually. Uh, so you pick up Double Dogs today, you get the preview for free. If you don't like advertising, I don't know what to tell you. You must like things for free. They are about to go to a commercial. I feel like I can hate on their commercials, but I get it. I get it. Amazing. So I'm going to have to fill a two-minute void here or a three-minute void. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see. I swear I'm going to lose. There's, there's a couple things that are going to make me really pissed off here. If they send Georgia to Missouri, I'm going to be pretty mad. Um, I'm going to be pretty mad. My guess is the home will either be Vanderbilt and LSU or Vanderbilt, Oklahoma. We'll, no, we know it's not Oklahoma. Excuse me. Uh, I, I said Oklahoma earlier. It can't be Oklahoma. It can't be Arkansas. So we're kind of we're kind of narrowing down on who it can be here, which would be Tennessee, Missouri, Kentucky, South Carolina. Um, you know, I don't have my scratch offs, but. We've seen Alabama, which we know Georgia's playing. We've seen Texas and Oklahoma. We know Georgia's playing those, uh, who they're playing in those. We've seen Auburn, who Georgia's playing in. We've seen Arkansas. So we've seen five schools. We know those five schools. We don't know the other 11, including Georgia. Um, but that said, we know half of Georgia's schedule already, and we have the 11 schools that are left, of which there's literally no telling. I mean, I... I There are two aways that we don't know about, and there are two homes that we don't know about. Um, Georgia and Kentucky, Georgia and Vanderbilt, one of those will probably be, Georgia will play one of those two. They very well could play those two, one home, one away. The A the, the and situation I just don't know. I mean, I think I think if you're Georgia and you're getting 
You know, you already have two marquee names. We know four four Georgia games right now are marquee games. The Gators, Auburn, Bama, and Texas. So they've got four marquee games already right now. Um, this home schedule is not what people are going to want. And, like, if you get LSU at home, and it's, it's going to be like, well, you know, is Georgia going to play everybody? Um... I, I just got a text message about South Carolina, and I'll go over Carolina again. I mean, these people are going to lose their minds if they don't play Georgia. Um, because Why? So why? Let me just explain, all right? There are only so many sort of anchor games each year at each school. You know, Georgia does not have this problem, but other schools do, and that's what the league is going to look at. They need sellout games. This is the difference between – you know, an extra million to three million dollars a year when you talk about sellout games. Well, Georgia for Carolina, that's a sellout game. Easy, no problem. You know, and every SEC game for the for Carolina is not a sellout game. Uh, Kentucky, Vanderbilt. I mean, for a long time, Florida was not a sellout game for Carolina. So, I think that's something to keep in mind here as uh, we. Move. Uh, here's here's a very interesting. So here's the Gators get LSU. They're gonna lose their minds about that. They're gonna go crazy. This is a tough schedule for the Gators. Just looking at it, they play Kentucky, LSU, Ole Miss, and A and M at home. They could lose all those games. They play Georgia away. They play Georgia State, Tennessee, and Texas on the road. That is a tough, that is a tough schedule. I'm gonna let you know right now, the Gators. That's a that's that's tough. That is a tough schedule, because you know just so here we know Georgia's. We know four already. So here come the dogs right now. Here are the, who are the two homes and who are the two aways? So Georgia will play Tennessee at home, and they will play Mississippi State at home. So I'm completely incorrect. They will play Tennessee at home, and they will play Mississippi State at home. They will play Ole Miss on the road and Kentucky on the road. So they're going to play back-to-backs against Ole Miss. I mean, I think if you're Georgia, you're okay with this schedule. And it's not anything that you've never seen before. Um, and I, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I think Ole Miss on the road is curious. Um, but I don't think any – there's no game here Georgia can't win. Um, just I'll, 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 I'll shout out what's happening on the screen. I think Florida's got the toughest schedule that I've seen so far. I mean, that was rough. Um, yeah, so Kentucky Kentucky is going to go Auburn, Georgia, Carolina, Vandy at home. The Gators, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Texas on the road. Let me stick with the dogs here. So now we know Georgia's schedule for 2024. Unless something changes with these buyout games, they're going to open with Clemson. They're going to play UMass. And then Tennessee Tech, not in that order. They'll play Georgia Tech to end this, the, the year. We knew they'd play the Gators. We knew they'd play Auburn, although, you know, it wasn't totally reported. They will host Tennessee, which is very curious. They will go on the road to State, a game they should win. They will go on the road to Kentucky, a game they should win. They will go on the road to Ole Miss, a game they should win. They will go to Alabama. <laughs> and then they will go to Texas, which we don't really know. You know, here's LSU here. I'm going to just stick with this. <sighs> I've seen tougher, but you know they're going to host Bama and Oklahoma. Oklahoma's not good right now, y'all. O- Ole Miss is going to be play there, and then Vandy. They will play at Arkansas. Um, you know, go to Florida, the Swamp. Oh, man, those people are going to lose their mind. And then you know, so Georgia. I just I just missed it here. Georgia is not going to play South Carolina in 2024. Georgia is not going to play South Carolina in 2024. Am I wrong? Uh, I know no one, no one can correct me, but. That's a sea change, man. I mean, like, that is a very curious thing after 30 years of playing Carolina almost all the time um, at the start of the season. Um, That's going to be different. Uh, That's going to be different for sure. You're swapping, basically you're swapping Carolina out for Clemson. Um, I bet those South Carolina people are pissed right now. I bet LSU's pissed because of playing Florida. I bet Carolina's pissed because they're not playing Georgia. And I bet Florida is furious right now. I bet the Gators are pissed. Because when you look at it, y'all, I mean, that's a challenging situation for for Florida. I I don't have it right in front of me, but I just looked at it, man. It looked like a lot of good teams on there. 
I mean, they got Tennessee, Georgia, LSU. Those were all teams that were ranked in the top 12 this past season. And while I know 2012 does not equal 2014, but or 20 what, what, what 2021, 2022, 2022 does not equal 2024. But man, that looked rough. That looked rough. State's gonna go Arkansas, Gators, Mizzou at home, Texas A&M at home. Thank God, by the way, Georgia not playing Missouri either. Score one win for the, for the good guys. Uh, that game is just useless. Um, Georgia will play at State. Same thing with Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Texas. That's a, that's a tough schedule for Mississippi State. They're probably not going to survive that really very easily. But, again, I don't mind this. That's a, that's a tough – that is a tough away schedule to some degree simply because of Alabama and Texas for Georgia. When you look at the – you know, you're adding Clemson. You know, you can say what you want about Clemson. You can lose that game. And, you know, there's several games on here Georgia can lose. Uh, Clemson, Florida, Auburn, Tennessee, Alabama, Texas. I would say they will maybe lose one or two of these games. I would not say they would lose more than that. And and if you're talking about the college football playoff, who's going to win the league? I mean, I, I'm not going to talk about Missouri's schedule. Um, you know, I, I, think, I think if you're Georgia, I've seen worse. I'll put it to you like that, and it was the Florida Gators. Here's Carolina's schedule. I mean, that's we don't we don't know all of them yet, but they're going to play. Ah, oh, man, they got LSU, Ole Miss, Missouri, and Texas A&M at home. So they gave them LSU for a money game and Texas A&M to some degree, I guess. They go to Alabama, they go to Kentucky and Vandy, which is fine, and they go to Oklahoma. So. You know, that's the other thing I always look at is travel. Where are we going here? Georgia goes to Kentucky, Ole Miss. Everybody goes crazy about Ole Miss and the Grove. Overrated. It's it's great. It's a good place. It's it's neat. It's got its own thing. But, like, come on, man. Now, like, it ain't so great that we got to, like, lose our minds over it. Tennessee, home Bama, home Gators, home Kentucky, and home State. That's like a normal season for them. And then on the road, I mean, this is not a bad schedule for Tennessee, y'all. I mean, there's there's really only two games that, that they could or should lose, which is Bama and Georgia. Um, you know, they play Arkansas, Georgia, and Oklahoma, and Vandy on the road. They're going to play Alabama, the Gators, Kentucky, and State at home. This is about as normal a schedule as you're going to get. Like, this is a halfway normal schedule. The the Oklahoma away, like, I don't know what Tennessee going to be like in 2024, but this is a challenging schedule for Georgia. Again, you know, you start talking about, you know, the Gators. Uh, we don't know what they're going to be like in 2024. They could have a new head coach. Totally could have a new head coach. Um, here's Texas A&M, Arkansas, LSU. Yeah, so Arkansas is going to be on the road, uh, neutral site. So Arkansas, LSU, Mizzou, and Texas. Have fun with Missouri. Uh, Auburn, Florida, and uh, State and Carolina on the on the road. They did not give them Oklahoma. They gave them Arkansas and Missouri. All right. I mean, listen, if you're new to the league, nobody really cares. I can confirm that. Um, they get, you know, they get Texas at home, so they kind of threw A&M a bone there, whatever. Vandy, like it matters, is playing Alabama, Carolina, Tennessee, and Texas at home. That is a great home schedule. <laughs> Like, that's a brutal home schedule. That's great. And then they play Auburn, Kentucky, LSU, and uh, Missouri on the road. That is a outstanding schedule if you live in Nashville. I mean, that is an outstanding home schedule uh, if you, you know, if you – if you live in Nashville, which I don't and I do not care. I said I was only going to go for so long. I've gone long enough. Thank you for watching.